What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've been diagnosing this Ford E250. It's no crank, no start, and it has multiple codes. Here are the codes. Circuit one through eight. Fuel injectors open. Fuel pump module open. Onboard diagnostics open. Lost communication with fuel uh, pump control module. Uh, like I said, no crank, no start. So after a couple hours of digging into it, looking online at possible symptoms, figured, you know what? Let's check the fuel pump control module in the back under the vehicle. But I also checked all the fuel relays first or all the relays in general. Let me show you. This is the one for the starter, windshield, um, towing, and for the fuel. So all the relays check out, all fuses are good. But what we realized, what I realized, is the wiring is leading pretty bad. I saw this, but this is older. But then after, notice the ground cable is uh, chewed through. As you can see here, basically gone. As well with that, we have this wire down here, which connects to this connector, right down here if you can see it. I have the other end of the connector inside. But that is what takes the starter signal from the junction box all the way down to here to that connector and then down to the starter. That had very high resistance, I guess because one strand of the wire was touching it. But other than that, it's eaten through. And I'm assuming the rest of these are for the can and several other things. But we're also going to have to find the fuel injector open or the fuel pump loss of communication, which can be multiple places as well. But also here is chewed uh, chew through. Basically, a mouse had his whole family in here or something. But All right, YouTube. So I got it rewired, minus this piece right here. We did the ground strap. We did the starter signal down here. Uh, we now have 0.1 ohms of resistance from pin five on the starter relay down to the signal wire on the starter. As we have crank, no fuel. So now we need to go down the rabbit hole of finding out why we have no fuel. So we also have no fuel pressure. See, it's not spewing out, so the fuel pump is not turning on. So no fuel pressure, and we also still have all the codes for the injectors. So we need to find out why that is. We're gonna check fuse 54. It's 2, 53, 54 is this 10 amp one over here. Let's check that. Looks to be fine. C54 is good. It doesn't look like we're getting power to this relay though. This one right here. Okay. And now we're going to test for circuit 30, which is number three. Three. Circuit 30 is constant. 12 volt power. I guess we have power there. Same size. Turn on the key. No, it's on the way. Just two times. Okay. okay, so we're getting our signal. Turn it off. Okay. It's off? Yeah. Oh, and it's out? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting our signal to energize the relay. 
and we have power, but it's not switching on the relay, so maybe the relay is bad. Let's try it with a different relay we know is good. Hey Leo, try it again. Try to start it. That's enough. Do it again. Enough. So the starter relay and the fuel pump relay are good. We know that as fact. Looks like we found it, guys. So I went on all data. And I looked at the diagrams. This is what we found. So this is the fuel pump relay. It's getting its uh, voltage, this 30 volts from hot at all times, pin three. And the relay is not energizing. So to energize, it needs the signal to close the relay, the winding, and then pull in the switch to have it complete the circuit. But since it's not doing that, something's up. So what we find, we have 12 volts here and we have 12 volts here, which is constant and switched, but we do not have ground. I went from ground there, pin two, to the ground on the battery, open circuit. So we have over here, it is G100. G100 is all the way over here. It looks like it's this ground right over here. But that ground is fine. I think I haven't tested it, but what we did find, which diagram is it? It's right here as well. All the fuel injectors are hot with fuel pump relay engaged. They enga it's not engaging, so the fuel pump relays don't know what's going on. Or not the fuel pump relays, the injectors, so there's all open circuit. So we went, we opened up the junction box, I found it, and then I found the wire, I pulled it and somehow it is cut. I don't know how or why or what made it cut, but we have to make a new ground for it. So let's try to reconnect it or add it somewhere else. Okay, now this is just for testing purposes. This is not the permanent ground. Let's go! Guess what the problem was? Well, All that wiring. Mm -hmm. The fuel pump relay was not clicking. Okay. I tested it. You changed it? Everything was fine except for the ground on it. The ground was not, there was no ground. Okay. The ground wire running beneath it, eaten. They got it there, they got it there, they got it here. Oh my God, these people. You're gonna get me, uh, should my mouse ball bag and put it here. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's a disaster, man. Tell me about it. That's a disaster. Oh, so that's working? Yeah, I know. I just need to tighten it up. Get, I need to run a new ground wire, but I have to make it nice. Maybe I'll run it all the way over here to the battery. Do it whatever you're gonna do, and then I gotta drive it every day. Oh, yeah. Now on, but I need to try it. Mm -hmm.
seems like it's good so thank you guys for watching if this video helps you at all please subscribe like comment share either way please just like comment share it really helps out the channel a lot um yeah other than that you guys have a good day thank you for watching